Um, Linda, congratulations. Thank you. you were, I think, five times on the podium of the World Championships in an ITT. Yeah. Finally, it's the first spot. Um, how surprised or how relieved are you after that day today? I really didn't want to celebrate <laughs> too, too early. Like, I didn't know how the people, like the riders behind me, were going to do. So when I finally did, oh, when I finally did, <laughs> then, <laughs> didn't know, then that's just all joy. Yeah. Everyone's happy, the whole team around me. It's, it's, such a good feeling finally making it. You, you were when you came after the finish you were sitting down there, you had you looked pretty happy with your effort, but yeah. you had no idea about the time I think. Can you no, tell I us didn't what know. There? <laughs> I was not sure. Like I can I could hear the guy um, the speaker, the commentator for the race was really excited as I approached the finish. But I was just totally not there in that moment. I was just my my, my mind was just not there <laughs> for a minute. It took me a, a wee while to recover. From there. Okay, so you learned it on the hot seat actually that you were in the Yeah, someone told me that I was leading and I was like, oh my god, but there's still really good riders to come. So like I said, you never know until it's over, yeah. like, until the last rider is finished. Yeah. Um, what, what was, from your point, what was the key to win? Because Anna was faster than you in the first split, Lisa was faster in the, in the final part of the race. Yeah. What was the key to win that race today? I think... Um, Consistency, like it was what what I was told before was the riders that could keep the two laps similar times. Yeah. Well, good times or similar times um, had a chance. So when I went through the first lap, um, and it was it had all, it, it had been a really good lap, I kind of thought to myself, if I can keep it the second lap around, and it's quite a long race for us, so 30k yeah. is better for me, so to speak. I can keep keep it up for longer whereas if it's shorter I kind of struggle a bit with the speed in the short mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah I don't know I've got the question <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah that's, that really answers it actually to okay. keep a steady pace um, how which role does, does Marco Pinotti play in that whole time trial thing for yeah. you mm -hmm. so Marco is uh, Marco has been helping me for the last years and he's been doing my training and and always been there whenever I needed a change of plan or something came up and, and really made me believe in myself. Today he was also in the car, that's the first time he's been in the car, so that was special for me and to hear his, his advice during the race. Like he's, he's got so much knowledge and time trials was his thing, his thing too. And like he, he works with BMC too and he had success with the team time trial and it, he's just such an amazing person and trainer. Okay. Um, Besides working with uh, Marco, you focus totally on the time trial, at least when you see your race program. Um, you didn't race a UCI race since June, I think, if I'm right. Um, uh, so that was the yeah. big target of the season? Or? No, the thing is over here in America there aren't many UCI races and I've been living in America and riding for an American team. So we didn't have any UCI races over here. So we went over to, the, to do the Tour of Britain and that was our last race. So we've done some, some crits and stuff, some short, fast races, which might have turned out to be very good for me instead of the, the long stage race. I don't know, yeah. something to, to look back at now, think yeah. about. But did you think during that time, did you think that's a good way to, to go on to the world? With I was nervous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was very nervous because you don't, like you don't, I, I don't know, like Lisa said in the press conference, we haven't actually done many time trials where everyone's been mm. there. So I didn't know where everyone else was. I can only think of where I am at the moment. So you had no idea, but will you stay with, with United Healthcare for the, for the next season? Yeah, that's the question. <laughs> that's the question, it's not sure yet. No. And don't go deeper into that. But from now on, everything is on to Rio or is the, the whole 2016 road season one target or is it just Rio? Now with the jersey, I don't, it's different, isn't it? So yeah, it's different in the sense that, of course, it's nice to come out and show the jersey and that. But the biggest, the biggest goal, and I think for everyone, is is Olympic, Olympic Games. Yet there's a whole season or half a season until the games, and I would like to do well during that part of the season too. Showing the jersey in Europe or everywhere else on the world. Where I can, yeah. Um, now the last question, the road race is coming up, um, what do you expect there and is there time to do a New Zealand and Danish party tonight or what would be a <laughs> Danish or New Zealand party? I think I'll have a drink, maybe two, yeah. <laughs> tonight and uh, 
then start thinking about Saturday. We only have three riders here, so we have a very small team, but who knows, like small but very good team. Okay, so there could be another top 10 for you. That's the we'll, we'll definitely try. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then good luck with that and yeah, have some nice drinks tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and good, good night with that jersey actually. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'll wake up tomorrow not knowing what happened. <laughs>